Morning everyone! I thought I'd do a vlog, which is different. And I'm actually going to do a vlog about a typical day on the Saturday for me, because the Saturday is when I usually just film, of what it's like for someone who works full-time but does YouTube part-time. And yeah, so I thought I'd just film my day. I don't know whoever else does this, but I'm actually in the middle of watching Cheers on the TV. It's a Saturday morning. I don't know who else watches this. And then... <laughs> Sorry. Watching a bit of YouTube. So I'm always in between the middle. And then... My little dog Saf. Just having a nap on me as well. Whenever we choose to get up, we'll get up. But at the moment, we are relaxing in bed. I'll probably spend another like hour like this. Before... I get up and get in a bath. I've already eaten. I've had a ready made meal, which I'll chuck in the bin when I actually get up. Ah, there she is. If you can see her eyes through that. <laughs> and this is how our Saturdays usually start just me and her in bed relaxing until I get up and she goes crazy. So I've literally just finished watching Anna's video with her mum, the say I shot it, and it was so funny. But now, I've got to clean this mess up, and I can't be asked. And the whole reason why it's all out like this is because in this wall here, there was something the other night. Whether it was a mass, there was something. It definitely weren't pigeons, because they weren't cooing. But hold on. So basically, we live on the floor just below the roof. And above me up here, you can always hear the pigeons cooing in summertime, sometimes in winter. So I thought maybe a pigeon could have got into the wall. No, it weren't a bloody pigeon because it weren't cooing like they usually would. Then I was thinking could be like a cat or, or a fox or something, but we're like quite a few floors up in my block. So I'm thinking that's not possible. The only other flipping answer is a mass. And it literally sounded like something like, crawling up the wall and then scraping to walk back down people keep saying are you sure it just weren't haunted and i'm like could have been but i'd rather it be haunted than a fucking mass i hate them fucking things so hopefully yeah the whole situation is dealt with so i'm actually in the bathroom getting ready for a bath and i thought that this would be the perfect time to kind of show you all like my favorite products and my skincare that i've been using lately um so yeah i'm just gonna do that for you so first off i actually use if i can find it oh turn it around is the coconut oil to take my makeup off with and then i'll finish it off with a bit of my cello water then i will go in with this clinique facial um, soap which is just a face wash and then once I've washed my face I like to use this clarifying toner from Clinique on a cotton pad and then use one of these once that's dried I usually then go in with one of these which is a nip and fab glycolic fix pad and then after that I'll wait for that to dry on my face a bit and then I'll use the Clinique what is that dramatically different hydrating jelly and it's the orange um my life the orange one i usually keep some nail varnish remover in here in case i want to like take my nail varnish off when i'm doing my faces face mask and then usually before i get in the bath i put a bit of this on which is hydrating hair mask and i'll sit with that for about half an hour and i thought yeah I went into Lush on Boxing Day and got a few bits and I got this little moisturising sock <laughs> which smells amazing. It reminds me of something at Christmas, well like a childhood sweet but I can't think what it is but it smells really Christmassy without being overpowering so I put that bath melt into the bath and it's like you don't even have to like cream when you come out it's so moisturizing so i really do love that so that's my little skincare um part of this and i'll be in the bath relaxing for a good old hour 
I thought I'd update you guys. I've just put on the hair mask. As you can see, it's like my hair's tied back now for the bath. And then usually what I like to do is put this clay mask on my face. So it is the powder. But then once you mix it with just a little bit of water, it will make i got to open this, hold on a second. So you just mix that mask with a little bit of water and that's what I like to do and then slap it on your face and I just use this little old Lush Pot. I know if you bring Lush Pots back you get a free face mask, which I usually do, but I needed to make this face mask and it just looks like this. And you just slap that on. I leave it on for about half an hour, 45 minutes. My face does usually go red from the Indian clay mask, however not that red and it just it takes all the impurities out of my face and i do that twice a week and it's amazing and i would highly recommend trying to find like an indian clay mask or the powder i think this is i don't know what this is called like i've been buying this for years it's just it says multani mitty bentonite clay it literally it just looks like that and it's you get quite a lot in here you get what how many grams It says it's half a pound or eight ounces and it's, as you can see it's as big as my face and this usually lasts me a good like year so yeah i thought i'd just show you what i use on my face so now i'm out of the bath i'm literally just gonna chill for a bit i usually wrap a t-shirt around my hair just because it's better for your hair than a towel and i'm eating a little snack which is greek food <laughs> so and then I've put a bit of pickled garlic on there just because that is my favourite. I don't know, I'm just weird. A bit of lemon, a bit of pickled garlic and that's a nice little snack for me. And I'm watching a little bit of Alex on YouTube. If you don't know who she is, I'm going to swing you around so you can see who she is. So this is Alex and her YouTube name is, if I can find it, Makeup with Alex Kate and i will link her down below but you should really go and check her out like i love her videos she has a lot of testing videos a lot of revolution videos a lot of jeffree star videos a lot of like there's so many different types of videos on here um and so right now i'm watching her review the color book um eyeshadow palette by revolution and yeah gonna carry on watching that and then get ready to do some filming myself i am looking a bit more put together just because i have finished filming a video and um this is the final look um it's nothing different for me i wasn't entirely happy with all the products like i was happy with the eyeshadow and the lips because look at this lip color i think this lip color is so nice like it's very matte because it's so matte it's not going to transfer on your teeth i feel like you could eat with this one um so i'm gonna like go about my day i've got a few things to do today so i've got a do at work to go to um yeah i just i can't stop looking at the lip color the lip color is just amazing and the lip color i'll give you a little spoiler is one of those naff um so natalia's range with revolution pro it's in the shade cherry um and it's amazing like a really nice lip color i feel like it makes my lips look a bit more plump as well yeah liz knocked it how is she in liz is knocking it liz yours is too low no no you've not knocked it you're all cheating I'm not cheating. Okay, Liz won because yeah. I have to do 